So <laughs> I've decided to do a small excerpt from Pale Rider tonight because tomorrow I'll be dealing with this and it's a lot. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. I hope you enjoy it. Pale Rider, book four in the Chosen Chronicle series is a standalone novel and it's by yours truly, L.G. Boyle. Prologue. The creature loomed from above, his grisly form nearly skeletal against the moonlit sky. From a single word carved into his forehead ran rivulets of blood, trailing a path down his thin, leathery skin. Abaddon, it read, and the scarlet lettering stood out in stark relief against the alabaster tissue stretched tautly over skull-like features. The name itself was enough to invoke fear, even without the accompaniment of his dread title, Pale Rider of the Apocalypse. Droplets of blood hung suspended on his face, seemingly dry, though still glistening freshly as though from an open wound. He sat astride a horse similarly devoid of color, in appearance like a faded drawing on parchment and a faint, nearly indistinguishable pattern etched its hide. Second only to his master in the ability to instill absolute, unquantified terror upon sight, the fearsome mount frothed at the mouth and pawed the ground in his eagerness to give chase. But the hunt had come to an end. Ari opened his mouth to cry out, but there was no sound. His knees might have quaked had he any strength left in his legs. Debilitating fear gripped his heart, paralyzing him until all he could do was stare helplessly at the ghastly duo. He knew that anything he could do would be utterly useless against this powerful adversary. The cause was hopeless. Ari was out of tricks, out of ideas, and out of time. As the massive equine beast stomped and snorted impatiently beneath his master, Abaddon fixed his prey with a gaze curiously lacking in malice. No trace of hostility could be found there. Equally absent was any other emotion. His features were locked in a cold expression, not betraying any intent. But Ari knew that death had come for him specifically. It was personal. A whimper escaped his lips as he braced himself for the final blow. If this was to be his end, he prayed fervently, let it be quick. The lightly dappled stallion reared back on his hind legs and beat the air with his hooves. His rider also ascended with emotion, raising an arm in tandem. And Ari beheld the gleaming scythe in Abaddon's hand just before horse and blade came down together. Ari screamed. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that excerpt. And I hope that you'll go to Amazon and download Pale Rider on Kindle Unlimited. Um, right now it's being offered free, but if you don't have Kindle Unlimited, the book will only set you back $5. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. You can also uh, reach out to me on Twitter at LGBoyle1, Instagram LGBoyle1, and on Facebook at The Chosen Chronicles by L.G. Boyle. I'd love to know your thoughts about the book or any anything that you have that you want to weigh in with. Love hearing from my fans and uh, love talking to you. So I look forward to speaking with you soon. And God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.